Hey guys, how you going? I'm just here going to do a quick online live stream video. Uh, I've been asked a few times on how to set up MoTeC and and uh, you know get some simple telemetry stuff. And a few of the boys on the team asked again, so I thought, look, easiest way to do it is just do a quick live stream. It saves us a video, and um, yeah, I'll show you how to. Basically, get to this point where you can read just, this is a simple one, it just tells you your tyre temps on your laps, uh, you know, front, rears, left, right, whatever, and then uh, I've just got a simple made up thing here that you can go around the track and see where your your throttle position is, uh, and your uh, brake markers are basically where you're braking on, the, on your lap, um, you know, this helps me a lot to, to gain a little bit of time and learn a lot about setups when you get to the the more nitty-gritty MoTeC projects but I thought I'd do this one real quick and uh, show you how to set it up basically from from scratch to um, to basically having it running and reading it so I'm just going to chuck some tunes on in the background I've got I've got everything pretty much set up ready to go and uh, all the download links are in YouTube down the bottom um, and I'll explain them as I go and um, yeah hopefully uh, you learn something from what I'm doing so let's close off MoTeC and let's just go to my screen here alright first of all you'll get the the links um, you know iRacing has a lot if you actually go into the the forums and you scroll down and you'll actually see where is it there is one here that says basically telemetry um, here it is down here telemetry discussion um, the best one for it is probably this MoTeC project 20 you know this Peter Chamberlain one there's so much info in here there's 15 pages of it and everything I'm basically going to tell you is in here I'm just going to be a short version of it alright so first how you're going to get it is you've got to go to the MoTeC website and basically download it now a lot of boys are saying that look, the newest one you can't download it and all this kind of stuff um, look I've downloaded the latest one uh, and it runs so it's just the i2 pro whatever which one you know I, i've already downloaded it and and got the files and and whatnot so um click on the top one it'll just download and do its thing save file whatever but i've already downloaded it so i don't need to do that so when you download it i'll just pull it up because i actually uninstalled it and I can actually run it for you and see what it says and and whatnot. Let's just go to the download. That's that one there. So I'll do the usual install program bullshit that it usually does. Alright, next. Accept. Next. I'll just put it in standard file. It'll put it in standard places. It'll do nothing. Nothing too crazy. Just a simple program. Now this is MoTeC, obviously it's real life software. Don't ask me the whole ins and outs about it, but I don't use it in real life. I don't have a, a, a car, and then a uh, race car, so um, it'll put a little icon on your desktop. Now, iRacing has telemetry files, um, obviously. Now you kind of got to turn these on um, in in iRacing. So if you look at the, the iRacing shortcuts. Uh, toggle telemetry logging is Alt L. Okay, now when you turn it on, this is just a screenshot of me in the car. Now, when you actually turn it on, you'll actually see this little icon at the top. It might be in a different place for you, but up at the top for me, it's there and it says telemetry. That means it's logging telemetry to basically uh, wherever iRacing is installed, it will come up to telemetry. Now, it saves these IBT files. I'll get onto these MoTeC ones in a minute, but it saves these RTB files and it will tell you every time that you're in the car, it'll save these telemetry files for you. Alright, so I'll get back to that in a minute. We'll close this off and we'll get back to what we're doing. So MoTeC's installed. So now we need another program, okay, and it's by Patrick Moore. And the link's in the description of YouTube as well. Alright, and if you scroll down, just on the, when you click on the link, it'll actually download it straight away. It won't take you to this page because it just made it easy for you. Okay, and it's MU Installer. So what MU does, um, it basically, uh, it, 
it makes it translates iRacing's telemetry files into MoTeC files. So MoTeC as a software can understand it um, and then you can use it uh, in, in MoTeC. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to install that because so, I, um, you know, look, visual shit. Um, I agree, install. You can choose options of where it installs, but that, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to install it. I'll just minimize that so you can see it and it'll say launch. It'll come up with this and it'll say basically where you know where iRacing telemetry is and where you want to export it to. Now this it will do it automatically. Mine's already done it. As I said before, it turns the IBT files into MoTeG log files and, and Motel, uh, MoTeG files. So mine's already done that, so you won't you'll see all this log doing random shit, but it's just changing the IBT files into MoTeG files. Um, so that's that cool. So you can just close that off after it's done its dirt, it done its dash thing or whatever it does. It sits down here, doesn't doesn't really mean shit. So look cool. Now we're actually ready to open up MoTeC. So let's open up MoTeC. I'm going through this pretty quick. You can pause and go back and all this bullshit. And the links are there as well, right? So in the links as well, I've included just one of the. I'll bring up the link so I can tell you. Um, I just did one this morning for Craig Jones, uh, one of the teammates. The one I actually originally showed at the start. He said he just wanted something with tyres on it. So I was like, yeah, cool, no worries. I'll, um, I'll just chuck something together. Easy for you. So there's a download link to my Dropbox. And download that uh, folder. Uh, it's a whole folder. And you put it into your documents and it will have a folder, MoTeC Projects. So that's the one I've uploaded onto Dropbox. Just drop the whole folder in there and you'll see that it has a project file. Alright. So forget that. So we're going to open up an existing one. And we'll just turn it, yep, okay, that one. Alright, so now it's got this. Doesn't show much. It's got nothing in it. Alright. But we need to actually give it some data now. Now that goes back to the MU installer, it's created, it's changed all the data. So we're just going to click on this open log file button up here. And then it will come up with all the information that it's done. Now this, this when you first install this program, so this is the newer version to what I, what I opened originally. Um, it doesn't, it just tells you like the fastest time the driver and what set you were. The comments is actually the set you were using. Um, yeah, when you were racing, so uh, I don't particularly like this. I like to know exactly how many laps I did. So if you right click on venue or any, anything across from you can go edit, edit top columns and then you can just check on total laps. Move left, just you know, you can move it up. I usually put it second or whatever, hit OK, and that'll tell you the total laps. Okay, I did a race not too long ago. So I'll just so let's go to Brand Hatch. That was only you know a week ago, or so fifth or ten days ago. So we'll go to Brand's Hatch. We'll open Brand's Hatch. If you just double click on it, it'll add it down here. You can add add more as well, whatever. If you want to comparison laps, but I'm just trying to do something real simple. Um, just click open. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to bring it up like this. All right. So this is the file that I've given everyone and and whatnot. It's not it's nothing too fantastic or whatever. But up the top here, you'll see that you've got all your laps, all, right, all the way through in the whole entire session. So if you just click on double, double click on 14, it'll pick the whole lap. As you can see, that's the main straight, turn one, straight, one, two, all the way through. And Motec's pretty good. It has pretty much all the track maps in it anyway, all right? But it will learn anyway. So you get, this is your little car, and you're going around the circuit, and you can see all these different spots, okay? Now this one's just a simple one. This is your, your front tires, your front left, outer, center, inner. And then there's your front, right, inner, outer, center. Okay, these are all in degrees, and obviously KPA is your pressure. You can change this. I'm not going to get into that later on, but maybe in another difference video, if someone wants to know about it. Now, what I've done on this map here, I've just set it as in temperature. Okay, it's your maximum temperature. If you can see down here, front left tire and your front right tire is in green. All right, and that's in that section. So that'll be the maximum temperature that your tyre hit between that one, that line there and that line there. So that's technically turn one. Okay. 
Simple as that. Rear tires, same thing. Okay, you can see on this graph. You can make the graph bigger if you want. You know, it's, you can just hit width and it'll make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Um, nothing too major. You can go through. You can even double click on just a straight just to find out where your braking marker is and what it's overheating it or not. You know, it's not. It's just double click on things. It's, it's fine. You're not going to break anything. Um, it is a real technical program, but it's pretty cool. So in that in that file I've put on Dropbox, um, you've got your front tires. Okay, I separate them front and rears because um, I, you don't like too much cluttered information. If you have too much information, it kind of just yeah, it just kind of throws it in your face, you know. Now with this as well, you've got lap number. Put lap number down here, and lap distance. I use this a lot. It's really I find it really good and I'll show you why in a minute but it tells you exactly your position from the start finish line on track okay in meters obviously now lap delta to your best lap I like to know that information if I push too hard into a corner and it'll go green and, and you, you kind of roughly know what your time is around a track and especially in 37 laps of this in this race but I absolutely chewed out tires so um, yeah, whatever. I like to know that kind of information. That how far was I off on that lap? Um, now we'll go to the last page. This is a brake throttle one. I like to know this. It, it's good to know your um, your braking points, and that's why I have lap distance on here again. So basically, I can you know go to the, exactly where I got off the throttle, and I know exactly at 458 meters. That's when I dropped the throttle off, or when I went basically what the percentage of throttle was uh, or brake was now when I actually did this race my brakes were still stuffed so I think I, didn't, I never got 100% brake I don't think nah because my load cell was broken so um, yeah so it, it kind of gives me a, a good indication of where exactly my car was and where I'm jumping off the throttle and, and jumping on the brake and that goes back into comparison 1839 you can go back over here and see that it's still 1839 and what my tire temp was at that point at the track it'll say you know what the pressure was and what what that tire was so look that's a quick inter introduction on Motec and this little uh, you know little workbook that uh, it's, it's up online and and whatnot and you're more than welcome to use it uh, I will get into more uh, technical stuff later on I do uh, graphs with temps where you see colors rather than lines because it's a lot easier to see around a track when you see a color um, as much uh, see that's a lot easier to look at you know exactly that you're starting to break and you know you're fading off the brake and and whatnot and at what position but with Motate there's a lot to yeah there's a, a lot you can do with it um, there is another link um, you know this Chris Halliday bloke you've got to give him credit for all this he's gone through and basically has workbooks, workbooks listed on different cars um, you know that pick up different things it'll be a lot more in depth than the one I just showed you as I said it was only a, uh, a simple one for tyres just for Craig um, I use a different one um, that I kind of yeah that I'll keep to me. <laughs> it's um, it, it's suited for me and how I want to read, how I drive. So the link is in the description of you, um, YouTube as well about this one, and you can go and download any of these. They're all free. As I said, go through the forums, have a look. There's so much info about it. Um, yeah. So other than that, if you've got any questions, write them down below. You got any queries, questions, or or you want me to cover something else really really quick then um, by all means get in touch and that's pretty much it thanks for tuning in thanks for watching as always I'll see you later